Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fel here. Welcome back to a Crusaders quest. Today we are gonna take a look at one of the free hero that we got from the battle pass or hero pass as they call it. And her name is Charlotte. And we are actually ready to evolve her from Charlotte to Red Cape Charlotte. So let's get it on. So we shall actually have a look at her on PVE and Colosseum as well on yeah, how she goes. So she levels up to Red Cape Charlotte, five star. Okay. So we shall feed her some bread before we level her up a little bit more. One more level up, she should be good to go. And she is a little cat. Is she a real cat or is she a costumed cat? Hmm. We don't know. Her uh, illustrations not ready yet. And I'm just using Echidna and Aris for the final stage of the story mode for more XP. Events. The best place to get the experience to level up the heroes. But um, yeah, I should have put a healer I think for them. Because yeah, we killed that boss but yeah, that last boss is just it's too strong. But you know what, you don't have to worry too much because we actually still get the XP, so even though we fail, it is game over. We still got tons of XP, so yeah, we actually were able to get it to level 50, so yeah, we'll level her up from Red Cape Charlotte to Charlotte of the Four Heavenly Kings, so there are four Heavenly Kings. Very nice. So yeah, she is a, a cat gal basically. She's a proper cat gal. All right. So we do have her soulbound weapon. We were lucky enough to actually grab it. Actually, we'll just level it up now from Red Capes Quad Cheer Balloon, Red Capes Quad Cheer Stick to Red Capes Quad Cheer Light. Okay. Well, we get enough mats to uh, max it out, so we shall craft it. Please, Frugus, craft it for us. So yeah, we got that to 6 stars as well, so... And we just need to upgrade it, but I'm gonna have a quick look at her stats and um, see what engravings we should put and weapon upgrades on it, so... We'll just give her the slots for the engraving, so... Got two slots there, 10 Frugus points for those ones. So we'll feed her more bread one last time. So six star heroes just needs to be fed one more time. And then that's pretty much it for bread. So she's maxed out. And then for the berries as well. I'm actually running low on berries at the moment. So I haven't been uh, planting my berries. I should have. But yeah, I'll just uh, feed her what I can for now. And we shall grab more stuff for her. But yeah, I'm running low. I'm actually, that's the last one for my mighty berry. So I'm gonna have to uh, open up some of the packages maybe. So I've still got quite a few uh, rewards to open up. So, Alright, let's have a quick look at her skill as well. So we'll use this Spirit of Vengeance for her warrior skill. So we shall go to... I uh, actually forgot her name. What's her name? The uh, skill transfer chick, Celine. Is it Celine? It is Celine. Okay. So of course we should always aim for the great to get the extra effects on it and higher stats. Effects are real nice. And yeah, that's it for that one. So we shall have a look at her skills. So tear and peel. Tear and peel. Charlotte quickly claws the front with her fingernails two times, each inflicting physical damage equals to 500, 700, and 1000% of attack power according to the number of chains. Okay. Passive type is main, so you will be three chain. Every time she uses her block skill, Charlotte gains the little red riding hood squad effect that increases critical damage by 5% and attack power by 1000 for 6 seconds. Okay. This effect stacks up to 10 times and the duration reset when reused. In addition, when the little Red Riding Hood squad effect is stacked 5 or more times, the motion 
speed increases by 30% oh wow she gets a motion wow that's crazy and for her soulbound weapon little red riding hood squad is changed to accumulate two times when the block skill is activated okay upon using their three chain the hero deals physical damage equals to 5000 percent of attack power to the enemies in the front and enters a solo stage for eight seconds and for the solo stage charlotte recreates her own block every two seconds and her basic attack changes to a block skill with one chain power the little red riding hood squad effect cannot be obtained with a one chain attack triggered by this effect in addition, if the three chain is activated during the solo stage effect, it summons a trio of little red riding hood squad in front dealing physical damage equals to 2000% of attack power four times and the duration of the solo stage is reset. So wait, does that mean 2000%? Yeah, it hits four times? What? Wow, that sounds pretty uh, broken. And the uh, stack... It, it stacks up to 10 times for the uh, thousand, 1000 um, attack power. So, yeah, she, she can really stack up real fast for um, yeah damage. So, yeah, wow. Well, well, it sounds really good on paper. So, yeah, hopefully, we'll um, see it in action. So, yeah, passive is main type. So, she's gonna be using three chain. And if you guys are, yeah, 47.1. If you guys are looking for a place to uh, level up your um, heroes, the uh, yeah, the late, the last stage is always the best. So she is level one, and we got Hala. We still got Kidna in there for the main DPS, but um, she's not even dying. What? She didn't take any damage. Wow. And she did fourteen thousand. 14 million? 24? That's um... No. Because most of them, they usually die in the uh, very beginning. I mean, she is level 1, but yeah, she's, she didn't even die. Oh well, just do it one more time to max her out. That's, that's crazy. I know we got Hala in there. Hala's a really good healer. And he does, like, activate some of his extra passive with the three chain combo so I mean that would be yeah could be the reason why she didn't even die but that's crazy level one so yeah the the very last stage for um story mode so yeah and yeah it looks like she's got really cool effects she got a little dragon looking dudes blowing her some uh, buffs really nice and yeah, if you guys want to see what the captains are using at the moment, you can click the little thumbs up icon and it'll show you like what everyone is using. So this is the best um, sigils. This is the lower level one. I guess four stars. I think this is three star sigils. And the rings and the options. And what sort of heroes do you use? Yeah, they got highlight there for all the three. Because Hala's got really, really good buffs. So definitely Hala. All right. And because her crit chance is actually really high, we will go for the double crit damage um, weapon upgrade. So, yeah. It's really nice when uh, the hero's got really high crit chance because I don't have to worry about giving her crit chance or any of the sigils. So some of the sigils gives you crit chance as well. So Now, Fergus does cost a bit more gold every time you upgrade. So just be mindful of that. So you got 6,400 gold for that chance for that try so every try he takes a little bit more gold and um, he does cap out at 10,000 but that's 10,000 per hammer so just be mindful captains now I've got 10 million well almost close to 11 million so yeah I don't have to worry too much about gold but he does take yeah depending on your RNG he could yeah take a fair bit so I'm just gonna stop it there let's get the crit damage 74 percent that's all right for now then I shall try this one same thing so it starts off at 1900 gold to level up to upgrade then it goes up to 2800 3700 46 now if you're really lucky you could get it right here but yeah it's uh, very very reliant on rng so hopefully you guys are a little bit more lucky but yeah it does stop at 10,000. so it's up to you guys if you want to spend a lot of your gold just keep on trying on him 
Um, he does have the event sometimes. You know, he gets a higher chance of getting the cr uh, great, but it's not always a guarantee of getting great. Now this time he actually got, there we go, crit damage. So of course that's a fair bit of gold. And for this one, I'm just gonna use the Fergus points. So this one's always got 100% great success. So yeah, grab all your Fergus points whenever you can. And oh, okay, first try. Okay, that only cost us two Fergus points. So. Thank you, Fergus. But yeah, he's taken quite a lot of my gold. So yeah, it's okay. So we got double crit damage there now. And of course, we'll use this armor penetration plus, plus more attack power. Oh my gosh. 60,000 gold for this just to put it in. So thank you, Fergus. Now, I actually don't have the other set for this currently available. So I'm gonna grab it from Izuna's Soulbound Weapon. Thank you, Izuna. So I'm gonna grab Izuna's and transfer it to Charlotte. So I'm gonna inlay it there. It's gonna borrow it a bit. So 60,000. It does cost 300,000 gold to remove a uh, sigil, or you can just destroy it, but obviously we don't want to destroy it because <laughs> these are really high-end sigils. So there we go, that's set. And that is done. So we actually got a 9% buff, well, plus 10 on that one crit chance, but 47.2 is really high, so it'll be 57.2 crit chance. So really high crit chance. And yeah, let's have a look at the illustration real quick. So yeah, real nice. I really like that. Really clean finish. It's got the uh, cat claws and the ears in there. Very, very nice. Well done. Well done, CQ team. Very nice illustration. And I was gonna open up some stuff, but then you can actually craft the, uh, what do you call it? The berries in here, Captain. So put the berries all the way down the bottom. You can craft the super almighty berry where it buffs up all of your um, stats for the berries. So I'll just craft 10. It only costs 3,000. 3,000? 3, 3, 3, 3, I think 3,000 per, um, per berry. So not too worries. We got tons of gold. And then we shall feed her more berries. Just max her out on berries. So we can see her max stats with maximum berries. And um, probably get to I-25 for inheritance. Because um, yeah, I don't have a lot of books at the moment. But I-25 should be good. So I do have a lot of pages. So the pages can take you up to inheritance 25. So we shall just do that. So we won't spend too much of the actual book. Maybe later on, we shall see if we actually need to uh, level her up a little further. But yeah, her crit chance is already really high. So yeah, you get f plus 5 more crit chance there. So you didn't actually uh, need that 55, yeah. So 65% crit chance. So yeah, let's have a look at them it in the uh, challenge mode. See how we perform. Okay, so we got Kaide and Hala. As everyone is using. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. So these are the little extra ride, red riding hoods. They're not really small, they're adult riding hoods. Oh wow, and you get a little um, dragon blowing up. Looks like an orb in your head, so I think, I'm guessing that's the buff. But yeah, really cool um, animation, really nice effects for um, Charlotte. And 19, 20 seconds. 20 second run for that one, I-25, that's crazy. Now we do have the uh, high-end sigils and the maximum uh, weapon upgrades, but still that's that's really fast. Because I-25, she's still, yeah, got a fair bit to go to get to the maximum. So her, her stats just, yeah, gonna keep on climbing, so yeah. Really strong captain, so if you got her, yeah, definitely level her up. Uh, let's go to the three eastern countries in chaos. Oh my gosh. And she does leap forward by the looks of things. So she's really good for like heroes or enemies, sorry. Or bosses that um, knocks you back. Like that very last one. With that lady with the shield and phantasmic color as well. So um, yeah, she can knock you back. But with this one, what it are. There we go, last one. Quinky. 25 seconds, so around 30 seconds. Easy peasy. 
So yeah, pretty much around 30 seconds. Only at 25. Wow. Really strong. So that was the Pandemonium. So we are on the very last one. Mountains and valleys. Alright, here we go. See how we... Uh, how we go with the... Bosses for this one. But yeah, she dashes forward, which is really good. So five target general. Oh man, those little red riding, well, not little, but red riding hoods, dudes. Riding hood dude, red dudes. They're so strong. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think Kaede is doing more damage. Yeah, Kaede, Kaede actually. Oh well, she, no, she got overtaken, but yeah, Kaede is pretty much on par with uh, Charlotte for this one. That's crazy. We're up to the final boss. We got pushed, but don't matter. Yeah, we just dashes forward. So yeah, really easy. So yeah, if you guys are having trouble with any bosses that's um, pushing you back, um, yeah, she is the one, the number one hero for that. So yeah. All right, let's go have a quick look at. The uh, Colosseum, see how she performs in the Colosseum. She is very, very fragile, so we're gonna have to uh, pair her up with some tank and heals as well. So I got Jeronica and what's that other guy? Uh, Noel for tanking, so double heal tank. So now these guys are only. Inheritance 10 and 17, so they're not really that, you know, strong yet, so. But she is only I-25. Alright, let's try it again. Someone stronger. Uh, this guy's... But she does need to have the 3 chain straight up, so we gotta have that first 3 chain. So yeah, really strong. Wow. So yeah, she's definitely got enough DPS for the uh, Colosseum. Just need someone to uh, cover her backs. And yeah, should be good. Oh, maxed out. I'll try Rolando for this one. Because he does stun as well, so... Shield and Rolando, maybe? But yeah, I think a tank would probably be better. A proper tank. Okay, yeah, never mind. She's too strong for them. What it up for them. Now, I'm only on Silver League at the moment, so I haven't been uh, playing quite a fair bit, so... Yeah, we're gonna grind up a bit more. Because, yeah, we do have the collaboration as well. Captains coming up soon, so... We don't know what it is yet, but, yeah, keep an eye on the uh, YouTube channel for CQ. And yeah, we should get some more info, I think, soon. So yeah, save up your gems and get ready to do some pulls. And I did spend a little bit of the gem, so I've still got a fair bit, I think 100 plus, so. Alright, this one's gonna be interesting, all maxed out. Conversing Holo with three L's. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. Oh wow, she did a lot of damage, so she did kill Hala, but um, uh, I forgot her name, Baiwa, so um, AoE killed us there, so yeah, very unfortunate. So yeah, I need someone to uh, receive all the damage for her, because she is very fragile for our build for this one, but yeah, she is really strong, Captain, especially for PvE, PvE, she just, yeah, destroys the challenge mode, so... If you got her, definitely level her up, and yeah, her crit chance is 55. It sits at 55 as a base, so you don't need any more crit chance for her, so quite easy to build for her. So yeah, congratulations to all the captains that's got her for free, or maybe you pulled her off um, from one of your pulls, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching, captains. Hopefully you guys are having fun, and yeah, welcome to all the brand new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and yeah. Thank you for your unyielding support as always and I shall see you all in the next video and yeah good luck have fun out there.
And yeah, keep an eye on the uh, CQ YouTube and we should get some more info for that collaboration. All right, bye-bye.